The conviction of a man is what a man believes is righteous and stands firm in opposition. But what is righteousness? It's like when Jesus, even though he was born Jewish, firmly believed in one God and took this conviction to his death. This reminds me when I was vacationing in Mexico with my family. We were at a bus station to get a ride to our hotel, and the bathrooms at the station were gated. Therefore, you had to pay to get inside. Next to the gates was this old woman who asked every lady that passed by her if they were using the bathroom. All of them told her no and walked right into the bathroom. There is a belief in Mexico that whenever you show kindness to a beggar, that beggar follows you and kills you. It's a scary story told to the kids to never talk to strangers, much less a beggar, for there have been real cases of beggars killing people. I found myself staring at the old lady, and she noticed me and asked me if I was going into the bathroom. Caught off guard, I told her the truth. I did not, and she looked away. But after a while, I felt that she was not harmless. I rejected the belief planted in me since I was a child, and I went up to her and gave her all of my money. According to the Gospel of Luke, he says, Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy because great is your reward in heaven, for that is how their ancestors treated the prophets. I had an inner urge to help this old lady and give her all my money, and I rejected the old things of how dangerous beggars were and followed my gut feeling. After I gave her all my money, the old lady looked at me in bewilderment and I smiled and said, I don't need to go to the bathroom, but you need it more than I do. By opposing the belief that all beggars are killers, I did something that I knew was good. Similar to how Jesus told his disciples to treat those who are poor, starving, and mourning, to treat them all equally. When I walked away from the lady, I caught my mother's eyes and walked towards her. She scolded me saying, why did you do that? You know the beggars are bad people. But I told her that the old lady did not look like one. I did not need proof to confirm this. I just sensed and believed she was good. I did not realize it then, but I found myself reaching out and helping those who are in need. I am only one, but I am one. I cannot do everything, but I can do something. And I will not let what I cannot do interfere with what I can do. This conviction of believing in doing what is right no matter what the majority party says has been a prevalent belief of mine. And with God's guide, I will stand firm in this conviction till the rest of my life.